All right, welcome back to SOS. I'm Staff Sergeant Badass. Today we're going to get into some chainsaw maintenance. I'm going to have upcoming videos on this stuff because I'm I, I people want to know, and I, I figured since I've got you know I've got a couple of chainsaws, I can cover some different stuff, some some general maintenance. This this uh this chain has been sharpened I think about five times maybe. I'm going to do a chainsaw sharpening video, but in today's video I'm changing out a bar and a chain and it was like five bucks more to change that change out the bar and the chain so i might as well do it the clutch is fine so i really don't have to worry about that but i'll show you some of that stuff as i tear it apart this is the poland 33 cc 14 inch so they retail for about 109 bucks just about everywhere and they're about 100 bucks 109 bucks this one came from a pawn shop and i think i got it for about 50 bucks but make sure you know the price of the items before you start buying stuff because they could spike the price up because they lost money somewhere. So if you go to a pawn shop to buy one, check the price before you go uh, or bring your smartphone or whatever. So look at prices. All right, let's pull you over here. This did not come with a chainsaw tool. So I had a slight problem with that. We're gonna clean this thing up today. I'm gonna do a little bit of scrubbing on it. I've, this thing's a, been a workhorse for me. I've used it over and over and over again. The replacement, I guess I should have brought this out first, but there's my Oregon uh, replacement. And this is a Poland, just so you guys know. I know I had trouble. I was looking at that like, huh, how do you pronounce that? But anyway, this is just a 14 inch replacement. You can pick this up at Lowe's. But it's like, like I said, it's like five bucks more. I'm going to add some more uh, uh, barrel to it. It's not leaking anything, so that's good. It it doesn't leak. It actually actually seals up nice for a little bit older chainsaw because this thing's a few years old. But since I lost my tools, I'm gonna go ahead and use the tools that I have here. This shouldn't be that big of a deal. Pretty pretty good at this stuff. Loosen my tensioner up. Loosen this guy up. There we go. Just a little bit. There you go. That loosens the loosens the bar up. But if you're going to change, uh, sharpen a chain. I'm I'm a firm believer in use it up and wear it out. And this thing has been used up and wear <laughs> out too much. Uh, I don't know if the bar has got like a slight bend to it or not. If it's uh, if it's warped at all, I I didn't really care. I just saw the price. It was you know, like five bucks more to swap one of those out. So I figured I'd go ahead and do that today while I'm at it. You can see it's pretty nasty in there. Pretty nasty in here. We're gonna, we're gonna clean all that up today. Just kind of wiggle it. And uh, the clutch is fine. Just be careful. I know a lot of people probably say like, you're gonna cut yourself or whatever, but it you'll, you'll be all right. You're not gonna cut yourself on that. Just get that out of the way, that nasty looking thing. And I'm gonna get in here and I'm gonna clean all this out, but the clutch, everything here seems fine. It's got a couple of little nicks in it. I, let me pull you down here so you can take a look. But you probably can't really see it, but it's got like a little, a little nick there. Not much, it's not that big of a deal, but and the chain's gonna ride on it. The clutch is fine, it doesn't slip or anything, so I'm not worried about that. Now let me go and I'm gonna scrub all this stuff out. Just use like a, a, uh, a type of brush, you know, whatever you got. But scrub all this crap out since you're changing the the uh, since you're changing the bar out. You might as well go ahead and clean it out. All right, I got that cleaned up. I'm just gonna WD-40 around some of these components. That'll hold a little bit of oil. Don't care if I get it on my bench. That's what it's for. rust prevention there I just want a little, little bit on there there we go all right just wanted to scrub the rust off my exhaust a little bit too make it all bling bling I might be going to a chainsaw show all right Back to, what was I doing? All right, I was supposed to put this on here, wasn't I? All right. 
Let's get this chain out. Let me move this back a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. There you go. Dump it on. Alright. And red card. You need the red card. I'm just kidding. It's not important. Let's get the chain out of here. This out of here. They would. More things. More barriers. More barriers. Would you look at this? They just want to make sure you have your chainsaw tool. He didn't have his chainsaw tool. He was unprepared. Oh, Alright, you. you would. Alright, second screw. Alright, it's out the package. And if you're like me and you have, you gotta have your push in lube made in Germany. But you've got this little lubrication hole right up here in the front. You just take this guy here and just. Yep, oh, yep, I just got it all over my hand. Eh, it'll be alright. I'll live. Just kind of rotate that around. You can see it's starting to lubricate it. Alright. Good, looking good. Alright. Just squirt some more in there. Watch it come out the other side. Yeah, there it goes. That should be enough. You don't need too much. You don't have to get too crazy with it. You can lube other stuff with this thing if you want. You can just start jabbing it all over the place, but you don't really need to. But uh, that's the lubrication. Like I said, we're going to get more into this stuff. All right. Grab your funky chain. Don't cut your fingers off, your little sausages. You don't want to cut your little sausages off. Load your chain up. Sausages, just give her a wiggle. All right, that's in place, so that's looking good. Apply a cover. There's my tensioner. Where's my tensioner screwdriver? Just put a little bit of tension on it before I start putting on bolts. Hey, it looks good, green and white. Green, white, and red. It's like Christmas colors. Great. It's not even Christmas anymore. And I feel like I've got that Christmas spirit going on right now. But yeah, it's all cleaned out and nice and neat on the inside. The, Like I said, the clutch works fine. So I'm not really too concerned about that. But go ahead and make sure this thing's got enough tension. It's too much. You don't want too much. Loosen it up a little bit. You'll feel it. That's pretty close. You see that? Right about there is pretty good. But you can just kind of lift up on it a couple of times. Probably one more time. There you go. Yeah, you don't want it too tight. Just go ahead and put it right about. And a little bit more. I think I went too loose. Now that's pretty good. That'll work. You don't want it too tight. It can strain your clutch. It's hard to get it just right. That should do the trick. Give it a wiggle. Alright, that'll hold up. Alright, go ahead and tighten her down. Go back and forth. Don't torque down one. You, you never do that when you're torquing stuff, okay? You just go back and forth. If you've got something in a circular pan or go all the way around, you know the drill. But you want that to be nice and snug. I don't have the correct torques. I'm sorry if you, you needed that, but not today on YouTube. All right. All right, let me back it out one more time. This is the hard part. It, all of a sudden it just got tight on me so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to adjust that again. I don't want it to be that tight trust me you don't want it that tight all right now let's try 
virus again. Kind of watch it and see. And there we go. Okay, let's do this again. It happens. <laughs> you don't trust me. You're gonna want to check that. You don't want to have it get really tight on you. Let's make sure it doesn't go getting tight on me again. All right, sweet. It's right where it needs to be. Yeah, it looks like it's doing good this time. Sweet. Finished. Finished. Dun da dun. Dun da dun. Well, there you have it. It's cold and I'm layered. <laughs> hey, no radio said for me to be sure to layer myself today. So I'm making sure I'm layering myself today. You guys stay warm. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Watching SOS. Stats are badass. Please share my videos. Share them with your pets and other family members and things. But I love you. God bless you guys. Rainbows and unicorns and, and all that fantastic stuff out there. Uh, you guys take it easy.